Hi everyone. This brief video is going to go over how to think about Zoom meetings in terms of modules. So I have open here a, uh, an unpublished sandbox just to illustrate the process of putting these together. So you click on modules from the left hand menu and you'll see I already have a mock module set up. It's got the title of the module, the dates of the module, and remember a module can be a topic so it doesn't have to fall into a single week right maybe you cover that topic over two weeks or a week and a half uh, or it could be a chapter maybe you cover that chapter only in a few dates just make sure to put the dates next to the title however you title it and again this could be week 13 and however you want to do it then we have you know a list of the homework for the week we have a discussion we have a zoom meeting and you'll see that there's also an unpublished area for the recorded Zoom meeting. So I'm just going to pop up in this Zoom meeting because there's two in one week. So I've got one here. And you'll see that when students are ready to launch it, they can click on the link and it will open up the Zoom meeting inside the module right there. So they don't have to go anywhere else. So I'm going to click cancel and get out of this. I'll go back to modules. And I'll show you how to set that up. You set it up by creating an external link. Do you click this plus sign right here? And where it says add an assignment, you hit the down caret and you scroll down to external URL. And then from there, you put the link. This is where you put your Zoom link. Then you put the name Zoom Meeting. Monday or Wednesday or Friday, whatever it is that you want to do. And you'd need the URL there. Uh, once you have this up, notice that I've created a blank one for the recorded Zoom meeting, because I plan to record the meeting for students who can't attend or for students who want to review it while preparing for exams. And it says, recorded Zoom meeting, so the title lets students know what they're looking for. And then when that recording's done, I can, just as I did before, insert the link if I have saved it to the cloud. And that's a strong recommendation, to save it to the cloud. That way you're not dealing with problems that can happen with trying to upload large files into Canvas. Meetings and links and videos, anything that you take as an external URL and put them into a module, uh, those are pretty much the only things that you can't put on students' to-do lists inside Canvas. Canvas has a calendar with to-do lists for students, and some students only look at the to-do lists and only do the items in the to-do lists. You can bypass that problem by this homework page right here. And so you take your Zoom meeting, and you right mouse click on it and you copy link address. Then you go to your homework page, click edit, and among the homework in here, you have the name of your meeting and you highlight it and you click link to URL. And then you paste that hyperlink. And you can do this for each of the items inside your module. I'll do this. So you can do this for each of the items inside this module. Once you do that, you can add to students to do and set a date. So March 30th. AM. So now this page will appear in students to do lists and it will show that they have a Zoom meeting tonight at 6 p.m. In order to help students learn, it's a good idea to include quizzes. Now quizzes don't have to be traditional types of quizzes. They can be reflection quizzes where it just helps them think about whatever it is that they just read or participated in the discussion or uh, listened to in the lecture. 
students need to actively try to remember whatever it is they just supposedly had learned. I say supposedly had learned because studies show that when students read or watch a video or listen to a lecture, they're not actually learning. Learning happens in the reflection process after participating in those types of events. Our high achieving students are very good at reflection. Our underperforming students often complete assignments as tasks and they don't do the reflection component afterwards. So it's a good idea to structure the reflection component into the assignment itself. And one way to do that is to have a little quiz afterwards or a discussion board or however you want to do it. I hope you find this helpful. If you develop any questions, feel free to contact me, even if you just want to brainstorm ideas. Give me a call.